Hello again. I've been getting a couple more questions. First of all, happy Friday. We almost made it through the week. I've been getting a lot of great responses and even better questions. So I'm just gonna keep it going. Here's some suggestions. Now I made a very similar example to the one where the girl is looking out the window at the top and bottom of a tree. So let's get started, all right? So this one might help you as a guide to, to help you you know, get to the height of that tree. So I created a similar example. So basically there is an observer in the Empire State Building and they see King Kong approaching. So the observer sights the top of King Kong's head at an angle of 33 degrees, his feet or the bottom at 19 degrees. Of course, we have our horizontal line in between with a hundred yard distance in the horizontal direction. So basically, here's what I wanted to show you. There are two right triangles in here. So we're gonna cut this up. We're gonna divide the two triangles at the horizontal. So I'm gonna have a top triangle and a bottom triangle. The top triangle will only get me part of King Kong's height. It looks like it's going from his head down to about his belly button. The bottom triangle will get us the rest of the height. So basically, here's what I'd like to do. I'm going to use 33 degrees as my angle of elevation because that is the number of degrees above the horizontal. So you'll see my arrow here. I'm gonna use the 19 degrees as my angle of depression, because by definition, it is the number of degrees below the horizontal, looking downwards. So here's what I'm gonna do. I've drawn my triangle without the building or the King Kong, right? So what I'd like to do is, I'd like to know the length straight across from 33 degrees. Since that's an angle of elevation, I'm just gonna use the variable E. Feel free to use whichever variable you want. I also wanna know the side length that is straight across or opposite of 19 degrees. I'm gonna use D, you know, since that's an angle of depression. So what I think what we'll do at the end is, we're gonna to add together lengths E and D to get the total height of King Kong. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna divide the two triangles into two separate parts, right? So I'm gonna use the top part first. So I have 33 degrees, 500 here. I'm looking for the opposite side, so let's direct our attention down here. So as you can see, I've got my right angle, 500 here. Oops, I forgot to add the angle of elevation in there. So now, 33 degrees. Where is the side I'm looking for? That's opposite. What side do I have? That's adjacent. So, using Sokotoa, which one uses opposite and adjacent? O and A, that's tangent. So I'm gonna write my tangent equation down here. Tangent of the angle, we know it, it's 33 degrees, equals Toa, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is E, the adjacent is 500. Ladies and gentlemen, our variable's up in the numerator. I'm gonna, if you wanted to, put that over one and cross multiply. One times E is E. 500 times tangent 33 is just that. 500, whoops, I'll fix that later. And now we type, right? Grab our calculator, we'll put that in here. Make sure your calculator's set to degrees. So here we go. I'm gonna do 500 tangent 33, close it up, enter getting about 324.770, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is, now that we've established that, I'm gonna come over here and deal with the bottom one. That is an angle of depression of 19 degrees. Again, I want the opposite side, I know the adjacent. Even though it's upside down, opposite, adjacent, I'm still using tangent. So, but this time, tangent of 19 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So it's virtually the same equation as we just did, but now with 19 degrees. So I'm gonna skip a little bit ahead and write the length of D will be 500 tangent 19. So again, we set two degrees. We're gonna type in 500 tangent 19, close it up, about 172.16. Okay, both of these are in yards, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is, King Kong is going to be the lengths of E plus D. So for me, I ended up getting 
320, whoops, 324.70 plus 172.16. So now I'm just gonna type that in my calculator real quick. And that gives me a total of 496.86. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, quickly in summary, we had a large triangle, but we split it up into two pieces. Why? We're supposed to use Sokotoa, so we need right triangles. His height is gonna be broken up into two pieces. I called them E and D. I wrote a trig equation, tangent for these two. I got each length by writing and solving trig equations like we practiced, and I'm gonna add the two together. All right, I hope this helps you for question number 11. Good luck, and let me know if you have any questions.